Man. Got a message for y'all today. Give me a second to put my phone on the charger. Got a message for y'all today. Let me change this camera real quick. There it is. What's happening? The, uh, the artist you're listening to right now is Queen Naja. The song is called War Cry. But, uh, man. What up, Tony? Uh, the message I have up there, it says, Many are called. There's a video that I shared earlier today, probably about five minutes ago. And it was in April, April 10th, 2019, when the Lord spoke to me and told me that I was on the path of uh, a path that I wasn't supposed to go down. It was a choice that I made. It was a path that I had, I was taking and I was straddling the fence, you know. And, you know, in the Bible it tells you, you can't serve two masters. Either you'll love one or hate the other. And this particular day, I was, uh, I ain't gonna lie, I was smoking because I kept on seeing stuff and hearing things and I wasn't telling nobody what was going on with me, but I was, I was smoking. And that day, I was like, I had to put all that stuff down. And the Lord had called me. <laughs> I don't want to say on my phone, but he had called me. He was like, basically, called me in my mind. I was sitting there at the desk. And my life literally flashed before my eyes. I saw so many things happen. So many things that was going to continue to happen or that was about to happen if I didn't change my ways. I, I literally saw two parts of me. I saw the part where I was going down the wrong path. I even saw my own death. And then I saw the part where I was going down the right path to where I saw a house. I saw a new vehicle. I saw uh, my kids uh, loving the new place. I didn't know where I was going. I'm being honest with you. I didn't know where I was going. But I had to put down a lot of things. I had to put down... Uh, alcohol, I had to put down the, uh, the the marijuana, I had to put down everything that wasn't right, I had to put down those things, I, hey, I'm not telling you that, you know, alcohol isn't right, and I'm not telling you that marijuana isn't right, if you do what you want to do, you know, hey, if, if it's right for you, then do it, you know, for me, it ain't right, so, I literally had to drop everything, I quit chasing women, I had to cut everybody off and, and you wouldn't believe how it happened. It was like one after the other, one after the other. Then they calling me, threatening me and talking about me. I mean, we just talk down about me. Oh, you ain't this, you ain't this, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, man, dang, this would it take when you decide to change your life around. Somebody is going to literally just start talking down about you, things that they wouldn't say to you when you was on that path with them. But when you change your perspective, when, when God puts you on a whole nother path in life, then you get so many haters, so many naysayers, so many people that don't believe, so many unbelievers. Now look at me. I'm inside the house that I just told y'all about. I'm inside this house. This is the house. I ain't boasting. I'm telling you, the Lord told me to take this path. He's like, you got to make a choice today. Either you're going to make a choice to keep on doing wrong, or you're going to make a choice to do right and you're going to glorify me and all of that because I woke you up you have to start praying to me you got to come to me meet me that's what God is asking he's asking for us all to just meet him where we're at and he will come where we at all we got to do is ask him in ask him to walk through that door right there you know what I'm saying let him back in your house let him back in let him back inside your heart Give him back what he gave you. He gave you life. Give him back your life. And let him change it for you. Many are called, but only few will listen. And few will actually follow the path. There's some pastors and some preachers out there right now, I'm telling you, that they ain't doing what they're supposed to do. They not. They ain't doing what they're supposed to do in that organization. I'm here to tell you, the church is you. The church is you. It's just a building. That is just a building. When you leave that building, it is now a dark place with 
windows and lights and water just like your house. Heck, your house can be a church just the same. All you got to do is invite people in and bring God in and there's your church without a 5013C. Many are called, but few actually answer that calling. You know that song, Jesus is on the main line? Pick up the phone and talk to God. Pick up the phone and call on him. When you sick, when you hurt, when your family, uh, when, you, when people are dying all around you, whatever it is, call on God, call on Jesus. Jesus is on the main line. Tell him what you want, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> call him up and tell him what you want. Tell him what you want in life. Tell him uh, basically everything that you want to just tell him. Talk to him like he your homie. Talk to him like he your brother, your sister. Be real with him. Keep it 100. Many are called, but only few will listen. Hey, man, I ain't going to be before y'all too long. I ain't coming to preach to y'all or nothing like that. I just came to drop a nugget in you, man. I, I listen, and I do what I'm supposed to do. I love y'all. Blessings to y'all. Knowledge. Bye-bye.